Elizabeth Hall Finley, a board certified plastic surgeon in Banff, Alberta, Canada. I want to answer the question, are breast implants safe? The answer is yes, they are safe. When you look at the real science that compares the same age match controls of women with implants to the same age match controls of women without implants, the same number of those women in each group will get diseases like autoimmune diseases. The reality with breast implants is, is that as women grow older, of course they're going to get more diseases. And of course you as a patient are going to try to find answers to those illnesses that you have. And it's total human nature to look at breast implants and think, are they the cause? Then you get on the internet and you read about breast implant illness and all sorts of things, and then you're frightened, and that's normal. But the reality is, the real science shows that breast implant illness does not exist. So why do I believe that breast implant illness does not exist when there are a lot of publications, scientific publications, that talk about diseases associated with implants? The problem is there's so much pressure to publish these days that even a recent article where the authors admit that the paper is flawed still feel pressure that they have to publish it. So it's not good science, for example, to compare patient-reported diseases to physician-diagnosed diseases in the population. You can't compare apples and oranges. So the, again, the real science, where they look at the, the scientists who understand epidemiology have said that there is no association between breast implants and illnesses such as autoimmune diseases. So you may ask why some women do get better when their implants are removed. I have to tell you that a lot of patients don't. They put all their hopes on having the implants removed. They undergo unnecessary surgery. For the people who do get better, there's often the placebo effect, which again is a well understood scientific phenomenon. But the women who get their implants out, who don't get better, they suffer doubly because now they have breasts that they don't like, that are just not, they don't feel good about themselves. So don't believe that just because one person got better, that it is scientific evidence that breast implants cause disease. Another question I've been asked about is why are there other plastic surgeons who specialize in removing implants on patients who think they have some form of illness? Well, if you pay attention to that, they're often putting new implants in new patients. It's a business decision. I don't want to take advantage of your fears. I understand that you may not be reassured by what I am saying, but I think it is important to understand the real science and not the junk science. I personally do not have implants, but when you look at the number of young female plastic surgeons who have implants themselves, both for breast cancer, but also for mostly for cosmetic reasons, they don't believe that breast implant illness exists. They believe in the real science, and I hope that you can as well. If you're actually interested in breast implant associated ALCL, anaplastic large cell lymphoma, check out my other video on that subject.